Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Not Your Average Noob, and we are coming back to you guys with a brand new Spawn PK video. Before this video starts, I wanted to thank you guys for all of the support you guys showed on the new video. A lot of you guys were wishing me the best of luck in getting well soon, and I really appreciate that. There were so many comments that I had trouble responding to every single one, but I tried my best to respond to as many as I could. For those of you that might have missed the recent upload, go ahead and check out the news broadcast in-game. You'll actually see that I have returned, and I am going to be doing a two $200 giveaway. All you have to do is type in colon colon topic 17239 and it will take you directly to the thread on how to enter the giveaway. Because you guys have been showing amazing support on the recent uploads, I will be giving away a $100 bond and a $45 bond to two lucky winners. To enter this giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, like the video, and comment your in-game username and register using the link in the description so no one can steal your reward. $100 bonds are currently going in the trading post for over 150 bill. You do not want to miss out on your opportunity to win this bond. Even the $45 bonds are worth quite a bit. They are going for about 55 bill cash. We have a lot of cool content to display in this one. Not only will we participate in the No Armor Tournament, but we also have a high variety of content to display in this video, such as multi-PKing, and we're even going to take a look into the most overpowered weapons on Spawn PK to see whether or not they really need a nerf. And here we are. It looks like there's a lot of players participating in this one. Holy fray, holy, there's a bunch of people here. Looks like there's 242 players online and 121 of these are in the wilderness. I'm assuming the wilderness count counts for the tournament as well, but there are a lot of players online at this time. This is not even our peak time. I'm actually five points away from getting the tournament crown, which I've been wanting for a long time. Alright, starts in one second. This is going to be very fun. Our first opponent is Blixie. He's in the distance here. Oh my god, we're starting out hot. I'm gonna go ahead and start using some of these brews, because we have to uh, start drinking the Senfu Serum to get rid of this poison. Alright, brews are gone. We still have the Karambon, so that's good. Always on our side. Come on, let me get a big hit with the whip, and then we can go into the Granite Mall. I'm gonna safe up just a little bit, because he's venged. Go for it. Oh, that's it. Nice. <laughs> first kill on the first round. Not bad. Not a bad start. Oh my god, this person just told them to sit. That's cruddy. <laughs> it gets competitive out here, man. Oh, down from a 51. That's gotta hurt. Alright, fight's about to start. Let's get this party started. I'm gonna go ahead and drink up a super combat potion and try to get the first hit off. Ooh, very nice hit. A very nice stack right there. Could it be over already? Oh my god, a 56 whack with the Armored Oak God Sword. You know what? I don't think it could have gotten any better than that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, all I gotta do is really stay alive and I can actually come back and win this thing. Uh, because it's a deathmatch scenario, so this guy's getting shredded right now. Whoa, shit! I tried to eat through that, but I couldn't really get it. Ah, damn. Well boys, it looks like we won't be winning the 10,000 blood money, and if you look at the tournament point shop here, the champion crown costs 50 tournament points and I only have 45. I needed 5 more points, aka 1 more victory to get it. It looks like we'll have to wait till another episode. These are sad times. The items that I've noticed to be most overpowered and might need a potential nerf would be the Vesta's Longsword, Karasi's Sword, and Elemental Dagger. Now the Elemental Dagger is not that overpowered, it's just extremely accurate. I believe the Vesta's Longsword received some type of nerf recently, so I'm not really looking for that as well. But the Karasi's Sword, now I have a little bit of a problem with the Karasi's Sword. This weapon is worth approximately 15 bill and a lot of players can get their hands on these items. And the craziest part about it is I've seen players spec over 80s with this weapon, and I personally have gotten an 84 with the Karasi sword myself. Players are literally getting one shot by this weapon, and it's absolutely insane. Alright, so let's get down to business. We have a 121 in our stab bonus, 135 in our slash bonus, a heap load of defense bonuses, and we even have 148 in strength bonuses. Now, I think this is the best it can get. The Karasi sword itself has some pretty good bonuses here. 60 stab, 70 slash, and 70 strength bonuses in the sword 
alone. This is the first weapon out of the three that we are going to test, so I'm relatively interested to see how this is going to go. Alright, let's go ahead and get our first special attack winded up. 56, take him down right away. No hesitation there. And we got ourselves a full-blown Darok set. So I want to go ahead and conduct a quick test on the PK boss to see exactly how high we can hit with the Karasi Sword. Oh my god, an 84! What on earth was that? I literally clicked off and just let this guy eat up to as high as he could, and he still couldn't out-eat that. He's gonna risk it, boys. Oof, that could have been bad for me. But he's low HP, so we're gonna go for it. 25 only, unfortunately. We have the Ring of Vigor Eye, so we have another shot with the Karasi Sword. We're gonna go for it very soon. Looks like now's a good shot. Oh my god, a 78! Jesus Christ, mate! <laughs> Yo, this thing's broken! Alright, so now let's take a look at the Vesta's Longsword. This weapon has a stab bonus of 106 and a slash bonus of 121, and it gives you 118 strength bonuses. So this has a little bit higher bonuses than the Karasi Sword. I'm relatively interested to see if this actually hits higher or if it has more accuracy to it. Here it goes. Oh, 69! Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Yo, I just realized we had the doppelganger pad out by mistake. If we actually had a berserker pad out, this might be a little bit more efficient. Alright, looks like we're running it back with the same guy. He just won't stop pouncing on me. I think this guy's rather persistent, but we have the berserker. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Damn, son. Well, the moment we get the berserker pad out, we just one shot him for his fucking. Aw, oh, poor kid, dude. Yo, that kid just hauled ass. He ran for the hills. Yo, man's literally just came out the cut trying to fuck me up. Man's literally just tried to do me dirty. Let's see if I can get my hands on this kid. Oh my god, a 73. Followed by another 73. So, basically these kids in spawnables are pretty, pretty vulnerable to people that are in max strength like this. Oh my god, a 71 followed by a 22. I wanted to just... This kid has been running away from me for the longest time, so I literally wanted to just rush the kid, and it looks like we took him down. Karasi is definitely broken. Alright guys, we have one more weapon to test, and that is the Elemental Dagger. I'm actually interested to see how accurate this thing is, because I've seen other YouTubers use this weapon, and they said it was incredibly accurate. It doesn't hit incredibly high, but it has a pretty... I lied. 68 right off the bat, but this guy did have no armor on, so we're not going to count that exactly accurate, but this guy's in pretty decent gear. He has a serpentine helmet on, and he even has the Curse Void armor, and we hit a 77 through it like it's absolutely nothing. That's insane, dude, because this guy was literally in pretty decent armor, so it's interesting to see that this thing is still shredding through people, even when they have good gear on. This guy, King PK1, has Curse Void armor on, which is also pretty good defensively, but not the best thing ever. It might protect them against the magic damage of the Elemental Dagger, so hopefully we see a little bit of a damage reduction from the Elemental Dagger, but I'm not betting on it. 68, he's down. Oh my goodness, we didn't even need the Dragonfire Shield special attack. This weapon's insane! Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a comment stating your favorite part in the video so I know what to do in the future. We are going to be doing a lot of multi PKing in the future here to gather more clips for an Elementals PK video. On top of that, I am working on a new NH and Hybrid video, so stay tuned for that. We have big things coming to the channel for the year 2019, and I have no intention on slowing down. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and good luck on the giveaway. I will see you guys in the next upload.